good morning everyone so i think we can agree that due dates are kind of important they're a lot more important now because you know not only are you paying those penalties but you're also paying a higher rate of interest the 10 percent interest is pretty high but so i thought today let's let's talk about some corporation due dates so a typical corporation and when i say typical i mean a a, a giant corporation their, their taxes are due two months after their year end but if you're a canadian controlled private corporation which most people are that own you know small mom and pop corporations your taxes are due three months after your fiscal year end okay so if you are a december 31st fiscal year your taxes are due on march 31st and then that's that's when they're due to be paid but not due to be filed see they're due to be filed on june 30th which is six months after your fiscal year and if anybody could tell me why that is you win a gold star because there is no rhyme or reason to that i have my own conspiracy theory on the fact that the government wants you to pay interest so they want to dive into the human normality of procrastination and you know feast on your inability to get your taxes done within three months so we call the three month deadline the soft deadline because there's no there's no penalties for filing after that date and we call the six month deadline the hard deadline because there is a late filing penalty at that point in time so after three months you're still going to get interest be charged interest but you're you're on what you owe but if you don't know what you owe how do you know what you're supposed to pay okay so some people i know way back in the day decades ago we would our firm would uh, not our firm but the firm i worked with we worked at would you know send estimates to the client and say we think you're going to owe this much money and i always thought to myself well just figure it out just tell them how much they owe we have the information just do it and i'm fairly certain they do it now do it that way now and and most firms i would i would hope do it that way now too just so their clients knows exactly how much taxes they have to pay so so on top of that not filing your tax returns at all missing those deadlines by years could potentially run you the risk of not getting any refunds that you might have had from those years so corporations that don't file their taxes within three years if they have refunds they just don't get those they are denied same thing happens on the personal tax side of things too if you if you wait until the fourth year to file your tax return you know you lose certain things like cpp and ei overpayments so if you had a couple of jobs and you overpaid those things then you're just you're just not going to get that money back so there are more detriments to filing your taxes late than just penalties and interest okay so it's important to keep up on that stuff it's important to you know not bury your head in the sand when you're behind make sure that you're getting that taken care of and you know worst case scenario if you're really far behind and it's really expensive to get caught up all of those forms are available online you can fill out a t2 a corporation tax return by yourself send it in and see what happens i don't recommend that but if you don't have money to pay for someone else to do it for you because it's, it's not easy you can send it in yourself it's going to be wrong but it's going to be filed. I don't know if that's good advice or not. Anyways, those are for the desk for people. You can always adjust a tax return later on if you know if you didn't if you've done your best and, and it was wrong and and your life gets a little bit better where you have a little bit more money and you can pay someone else to do it for you. They can always revise those returns. Again, I don't know if that's good advice or not. So I hope that helps. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your friends, and be well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all of which are linked in the description below. We're more than just an accounting firm. We do business consulting and media creation for our small businesses. Consider checking us out. It would really mean a lot. Hope to see you soon.